So for another week, he has to take his medicine. We like your application. We want you to do an interview. Brennan, you really have to be careful. I know. He potentially could lose his sight um, permanently. Life is certainly full of surprises. I'm sure you guys have experienced that as well. I have to say that this last week of mine was one surprise after another. Some were expected, some not so much. The week started off absolutely amazing. On Saturday, Mike and I jumped in the car and drove to Orlando and picked up our friends, Kim and Dan, and their two beautiful children. Now, Kim is Katie's old gymnastics coach who we've become very good friends. They were flying in from Utah with their family to go on their first ever Disney cruise and we could not wait to be a part of it. We spent the evening at Disney Springs, totally had fun with the live music, dancing, had dinner at Art Smith's homecoming, and then ended the night by teaching Kim and Dan how to play euchre. And if you guys know us, euchre is our game. They caught on and, well, I don't mind telling you that Jill and Dan won. Wow. You see that ship? Woo! Sunday was the day that we took them to Port Canaveral to board their first Disney cruise. They cruised on the Fantasy, which we've never been on, but I have to tell you, we were just overjoyed to be able to participate in this great experience for them because it completely brought back memories of one of the first Disney cruises that we ever took with the kids, and they were the same age as Kim and Dan's little ones, and I just knew what they had in store for them was gonna be one of the most exciting weeks of their life. Oh my gosh! Now what is she gonna do? Mike and I had to go touch the water at Cocoa Beach and then made it back to Port Canaveral where we sat at a restaurant and ate lunch while we waited for the fantasy to go by. And there are Kim and Dan way up there waving! Oh my gosh! In the meantime, Ryan has an opportunity. So we returned home and this is the next day. Wait till you find out what Ryan's up to. Hey Ryan just finished his interview for SGA. Yeah, I put an application. They said, we like your application. We want you to do an interview. I said, absolutely. They said, be here at 510 on Monday. So I uh, went in and they all asked me questions and it went well. And you're interviewed by students who are already on SGA? Correct. So it's the leader of SGA who was my camp counselor, which was funny. I was like a panel of like probably eight of them. And they all asked me a, a question. And then two of the teachers in the back were also involved with SGA. So the Student Government Association, they put on homecoming. They put on uh, all these different events. It's a student-run club. club that um, uh, just puts on all the fun for the high school. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I know a lot of people in it, so I was hoping to. All right. Well, when we find out, I'm not sure. They never told me, but okay. um, they yeah. I you know what? So I got they you know ask you like some silly questions and some serious ones. They asked me to draw the mascot of the school, and it was a horrible drawing. <laughs> I, made him, I made him laugh, so that was good. I got tripped up on the leader question. That's the only thing I, I got tripped up on. That we talked about that. I know. And Did I'm, you talk about coaching? I'm a, I'm a great leader. No. No, I didn't even bring that up. It was so stupid. I literally thought about that. I was like, but no, the rest of them I did fine. It was, it was, it was good. Drawing, um, drawing a horse. Was, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Like if I don't make it, it just wasn't meant to. Be. Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoops. Don't okay. Bye. So this is where my week took a turn, and was quite a surprise, but not necessarily the kind of surprise that's a good surprise. I got a call from Brennan and, hey Brennan, how you doing? Not good, mom. When you hear not good, mom, it's usually like, I don't know, I didn't do well on a test or my girlfriend broke up with me or that kind of thing. Well, this one was a little bit more serious than that. Brennan took an errant elbow to the eye and um, his right eye, uh, he couldn't see. He lost vision in his eye and it would come and go. Um, so I told him to immediately go to the emergency room. Katie, thank goodness being the amazing sister that she has picked him up, took him to the emergency room, and they hung out there. Here's a snippet of that. What's up everyone, it's Brennan. I'm look pretty rough right now, but I can see again on this eye. It's a little blurry, but I can see. Um, <clears throat> Katie's doing some homework. He's currently 10, nine. 957. It's currently 957. Seven. Uh, Chick-fil-A officially closes in three minutes. We kind of expected this though, so. We might have to get some food. The vending machine still doesn't work. I update. 
I'm gonna try and diagnose myself right now and say I have bleeding in my retina. It's called a. I looked it up before on the internet. Yeah. Do I history? It is a. I think it's a vitreous hemorrhage. That's, that's my best. That's my best guess. Vitreous hemorrhage is coming in at plus one twenty. <laughs> so let me know. I'll, I'll be the back. All right. Uh, we will keep you guys updated. Katie and Brennan were keeping each other calm while they were at the emergency room, but individually they each told me that they were frightened about what was going to happen and didn't really know what to do. So I, after four hours, said, hey, listen, why don't you go home? It was like 1130 at night, I think. I'm like, why don't you go home and sleep and tomorrow morning we'll get you the first appointment we can in Tallahassee at an ophthalmologist office. So at that point I decided, okay, I'm gonna go up. So I had a good night's sleep and then the next day drove all the way to Tallahassee. It was about a four and a half, almost five hour drive. And I met Brennan at the ophthalmologist office. Um, I was quite, you know, <laughs> nauseous. Um, most of the night before the drive up, I was starting to be a little bit more calm um, because they had done some tests at the emergency room where they tested his pupil and his pupil was responding. And they also said that it wasn't um, anything that had to do with the brain. So that gave me a little bit of peace, um, but we still were very uncertain about what was going on. Uh, so when I met him at the doctor's office, he got some um, tests and basically what they said it was, was I'm gonna to try to describe this to you guys. Here's your eyeball, right? And here's the front of your eyeball. This is the cornea, this is the clear part. And then inside, like your iris is in here. And a blood vessel had burst on the outside of his iris and was causing blood to go in between his iris and his eyeball. And when that blood was moving around is why he was losing his vision. So it wasn't anything mechanical in the back of his eye or anything where he was losing vision. It was literally the blood going in front, but it was very blurry for him and he couldn't see. The doctor, however, did say that that blood vessel had stopped bleeding but if it were to bleed again and was calling that a re-bleed it would open up more blood would go in there and it would cause pressure on the eye and push the eyeball backwards which could hit the optic nerve and damage the optic nerve and if it did that then he potentially could lose his sight um, permanently so he seemed to think that that was good news. Oh, mama, at least I don't have to get surgery. I'm like, Brennan, that's not good news. I mean, it's not good news that that's the potential of what could happen. Um, but she said, listen, if he just, he's, he's on strict bed rest from now until when I tell him he's not. And she gave him two different eye drops and, um, and said to take it easy and that we were supposed to go visit her each day until it got better. So I decided to um, stay over and, um, I'm like, okay, Brennan, let's get some food. I'll make you some dinner and we'll have Katie come over at your place and we'll watch some movies and we'll just lay low. And you know, it is um, finals week, so he did have some work to do, but he was able to get in touch with his teachers and extend some of his projects. So anyway, we went back and watched Lord of the Rings, which we've never seen before, so that was fun. And um, he ended up going to bed in his room and Katie and I just decided to sleep on the couch. We had a little sleepover. We went back to the doctor the next day and she said that he had improved significantly and she gave him an A plus for bed rest, which was great, but he is still supposed to go back to the doctor each day um, until it's cleared. So that was Wednesday. And then after the getting him all settled at the doctor and back into his house, making sure he had food, making sure Katie was great, we said goodbye and I drove back home and Kate said she would take care of him for the rest until she needed to. So my excitement did not end. The very next day, I jumped back in the car, went back to Orlando. Hey guys, I'm at Epcot today and I am meeting up with one of my besties from high school who I haven't seen in, I'm gonna say, 10 years, I think. It was since one of our last reunions. I'm so excited to see her. She's here with her family. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. I'm so sweaty too. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I just had to record our homecoming. Hi, Leo. One more pick before we say goodbye. Back in my favorite place, I associate to Tallahassee. <laughs> um, they're pretty good in here. We like them. Yeah, and uh, my, my eyes have been feeling a lot better. It looks a lot less red. It's quite dilated, if you will. It means my pupil is <laughs> quite large compared to my other one. Um, but yeah, I didn't go in yesterday because I was feeling good. Been taking my eye drops. Been doing what I'm supposed to do. So been on that bed rest. Yeah, they're gonna yeah on that bed rest. They're gonna test me and see if my eye pressure is good, 
and see uh, what the bleeding looks like. So hopefully we can get out of here and they're like, bleeding's done, you're good. But I still have to be did like, on time rest. I did, yeah. That's the only time I left my house to get the haircut. Oh, nice. All right, we'll see you guys nice. after with an uh, update. Brennan's done. Maybe this way. Oh, well, my car's right there, so it didn't really matter. Um, they said that the blood is mostly cleared up. It there's is. a couple little patches left, and there's more. There's a more like floating red blood cells. Somewhere in the eye. So for another week, he has to take his medicine. And they want to see him next week, right before we go home. So I had two sets of drops. One of them I did twice a day, and one of them I did four times a day. So the four times a day is now moved down to three times a day. And she said I can do light activities like. I can jog, I can lift she weights. Said a like a light jog. Yeah, a light jog, like lift the weights under 30 pounds. So I'm not going to go hard at the gym, but I'll probably show up and do a little, I know, bike or something. Katie's very against it, but I think I'll be okay. Um, coming back in a week for an appointment right before we leave to go back home. Um, anything else? Brennan, you really have to be careful. I know. Like, you really, but really I can, have I can to... leave the house now. Yes, but if you don't get into a crowded space, like, don't go anywhere where there's people that could potentially, like, run into you, run into your eye. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Got you, bleh. Got you, get up. And the news just keeps on coming. This is Ryan's big news. Oh, hey. He has a big day today for many reasons. One of which I think he might be about to share with oh, me. Oh, no. I didn't mean to film that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. But, oh wait, yes. Can, can totally keep <laughs> Some that things are a little secret, private. Some things are not so private. I have a feeling I know what this is. <clears throat> Ryan Donnelly, Dear Applicant and Parent Guardian for Student Government Association. Congratulations! You are a dedicated leader has been selected to represent the SGA of your high school for the 24, 23, 24 academic year. We'll have our first mandatory meeting on Monday, May 8th at 2.30 p.m. Come on, man. I am so, this is? so proud of you, Ryan! Thanks, Who was my bride of full circle? Great job. Thank you. By the end of the week, everything had come full circle. Kim and Dan and the kids had an amazing cruise. I got to see my friend Amy and her family. Katie had her sorority formal and her end of the year circus banquet. Brennan is healing. Ryan got into SGA. All is well. If you guys want to take a look at more of our adventures, this playlist of our Donnelly family injuries is certainly a fun one.